Kelly here with Rose City RV of Michigan, and today we're going to go through this 2024 Rockwood Mini Lake 2109S. And you may ask yourself, is this the correct model for you? So here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model sleeps up to four people, has a weight of 4,519 pounds. The overall length is 22 feet 4 inches. It has a height of 10 feet 3 inches and features one slide out. So let's take a look inside. So starting up here, we have our 30 amp solar controller. So this unit has an 1800 watt inverter as well as a converter. And it also has a uh, 200 watt solar panel located up on the roof, which we'll show you as well. So this controller here uh, will allow you to control the sun voltage coming in and regulates that down to the 12 or 13 volts that we want charging our battery. So that's what that job is. This panel can also take, uh, this controller can also take multiple new solar panels, so you can add additional solar panels. Um, I don't know what the amperage is there, um, but you can definitely add to this system that's already here, so that's a plus. Um, with the conver converter that's also in these Rockwoods, they are lithium ready, so if you decide to go the lithium route, all you have to do is change a couple settings and you're ready to go, so no more change in the converter as well. Below our solar controller, we have our Wii RV monitor panel here. This has everything on it. It's got motion sense. It's got the awning, the slide, and all of our light um, functions, our water heater functions, water pump, and then our 12-volt tank heaters as well. We have 12-volt tank heaters on this model, and most of the Rockwoods that we order have them. What those are is for extended camping. Um, so if you want to camp early in the spring, or late in the fall in Michigan, you have 12 volt tank heaters on all of these um, to allow you to, to camp earlier and later in the year. So that's a nice feature. This monitor panel will also show us our fresh, our fresh water, our black water, our gray water, and then our battery level, um, as well as that 30 amp solar controller that will also tell uh, what the, the battery percentage is as well. So that's a nice feature. Next to this refrigerator here, this is a dual swing. There are notes on here. Um, this door can come off if you don't have this latch. So that's kind of the idea behind that. So we can open it from this side or we can open it from this side. The warning here is just making sure you're getting this latched because if you don't, this whole refrigerator door can come right off of there. And then our nice big freezer um, with also the control setting. This is the Magic Chef 12 volt option. I really like this one. It's clean interface and then the dual swinging doors is really nice for unloading and loading the RV so you can get into either side. Underneath of here we have our CO2 and propane detector. Like I always say in all my videos, that is the most important safety feature on the whole coach. Always make sure that the green light is illuminated and that thing is functioning properly for your safety. Then next to that, we have our converter, which also has that auto detection sticker I was just mentioning. Um, so if you are wanting to switch over to lithium, that will handle it no problem. You won't have any issues charging your batteries. If you're not familiar with what the difference is between deep cycle and lithium, um, or even AGM or, or other styles of batteries. There's a lot of information out there, um, but they charge at different rates. That's why that's a big deal. So you want to make sure you have the, the right converter per the batteries that you're using. Then next to the refrigerator, we have some storage here. This is a cool shelf because it is um, a hang space shelf. You've got some hanging um, racks up top, and then you can also remove these. Um, or you can leave them in and use this as a pantry. So that's that's a nice feature there. Moving into the bathroom here, we have a nice illumination light underneath of the vanity. So that's a plus. We have our GFI outlo outlet located in here. This being a smaller coach, there's only one. So we have two light switches located in here. One's going to be for the main light, and then one's going to be for our little illumination light underneath of here. And then... This shower has the awesome shower miser feature. Um, we will do another video on that if you're not familiar with what that is, but that's basically to recycle and save water, but we'll get into detail with that. 
And then one thing that Rockwood does that I really appreciate and people don't really think about until they buy, but they angle the toilet. If you look at this, it's not just going to be straight so your legs not bump into that. They angle it nicely so that way your legs and your body can be kind of in the open area that you have here. Obviously with camping you have smaller spaces, smaller bathrooms, so just that little bit of them turning the toilet makes this bathroom way more useful. And then we also have a nice linen closet, um, bathroom supplies, whatever you might need to put in there. Now, for the kitchen, we have oven and stovetop. They've now added this igniter. Um, they've been doing the top igniter for a while. In the last few years, they've gone to the oven igniter, so you don't have to reach all the way in there to light that. These also have thermal couples on them now. Um, before, if somebody just bumped that and left it on, you can see it illuminates red, but the gas will not come out of there until it senses flame. So you hold it, you ignite it. Once it knows there's a, a flame presence there, it will stay lit. So no more accidentally bumping these switches and turning the propane on. So that's a big safety thing. Um, I'm glad that they finally did that. Um, or if the kids are messing around with it or whatever, you don't have to worry about um, propane escaping out of here. So good safety feature. And then this does flip open. We have a nice little illumination light here. I'll light those up clear. It's kind of like a night light and then an oven light. Always make sure that this glass is down for traveling. Okay, moving on, we have a farmhouse style sink here. This is really a nice feature. It gives you a huge area to wash those large pans. A lot of times people are camping. There's a lot of people around, big dishes. So you can easily do those in there. This little kick stop here um, for some dish supplies, which is nice. It's just space utilized where there wouldn't otherwise be anything. So Rockwood does that the best in my opinion as any supplier. They always give you the storage space when they can. And then people have asked, why is this so shallow? Well, if you think about it, the sink and the plumbing's underneath of there. So again, they're just giving you the space that, that's available. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then this one is going to be a much deeper drawer. Okay, so that's that. We have our puck light underneath it here with the little push button. And then we have a counter extension located here. So that flips up and you just lock these into place and you're ready to go. So gives you just a little bit of extra space there. Now we have gone to, Rockwood has gone to these Connex 12 volt all in one smart radio TVs. They really are nice um, in comparison to the old TVs that they provided. So they're 12 volts so you can use them off the solar. They have radio with JBL speakers built right in, which is nice. And then you can also do zone two for the outside speakers. And then it is also a smart TV as well. So that's a plus. If you move this, you'll be able to see where the TV booster is located, which is all the way back up into here. And you'll see the green light illuminated there. That means it's on. Just a reminder, if that's on and you're not using it, it will also wear on your battery. So if you're not using it, make that make sure that you shut that off. And then also the radio that's built into here uses that to get signal. So if you're using the TV or the radio, make sure that that's on. If you want to get that signal. If you're just using the Bluetooth function, you don't need to worry about that. Now, looking at our bed here, we have dual 110 outlets next to the bed. So um, they started to do those as the CPAPs kind of became a big thing for people so that's a plus you don't have to be looking for power and then also have 12 volt hookup located there um, so you can charge those devices USB and USB-C also they put a monetary switch here so you can shut these lights off from bed so that's another another bonus um, they just really don't skimp out on anything um, in the Rockwood brand as a whole um, so that, that's a really nice feature because you have the main interior light switch there. You lay down, you're like, oh, I forgot to shut the lights off. You can just hit that little switch right there. Now, moving on to this side, we have our inverter controller. Um, as I mentioned previously, there's an 1800 watt inverter in this model. So you can convert that 12 volts from the battery 
to the one ton plugs. So if you wanted to brew coffee or charge up your laptop or do any of those things that you might need to be able to use those plug for, you just turn that on and you can do that. Now, if you find yourself using that a lot, you're gonna wanna improve your battery bank. So that's just something to keep in mind. That will burn up more battery than, than anything, so. Uh, moving on to the slide here, we have a what they call a jackknife sofa on this model. It also has a flip down beverage holder there and this is a full size couch, 72 inch sofa so you can sleep an adult there. Anything taller than probably 5 foot 10 it might get a little scrunchy but other than that you can definitely do that. Um, and then this cool table, they've been using this for a little while now in the Rockwood uh, line. They use it in Geo's um, minis. It's a really nice table design. Um, no more bases on the floor for the old pedestal styles. Um, you know, it's fixed right to the side here. And then you have multiple adjustments. You can twist and turn and get it out of the way. It's just a lot more user friendly than the old style tables. So that's a plus. And I have not seen those. Um, and too many other brands. Some people have, have changed that a little bit, but I think this one is the best one I've seen. And then moving over here to our um, additional outlet, I just want you to see this. They put a sticker on all of them that are inverted. So you can um, tell if you have power based on that sticker um, if you're using the inverter. So that's kind of nice too. And I believe all of the outlets in this are wired up to that inverter. So. You won't be missing that anywhere. Um, moving on to here, we have this new Coleman Mach Ericsson thermostat. They just started using these in the last year and a half, I would say. They're really nice. They look really sleek. Um, the buttons move very nicely in them. Um, you're just going to click that into shuffle through modes, like so. Um, and then you just pick the one you want. We don't have power here, so we're not going to turn that on. Um, and then the fan speed as well. So that's how that works. We'll do another video kind of describing and, and showing the actual functions of that, but it's very simple user friendly. So, um, all right, let's go on outside and see what other features that we need to see. Okay, moving on to the outside. Um, Rockwood also does this, which is nice. So every model they put their QR next to, so you can link that up to, to check it out on their website if you want. Um, Next to that, we have our step light, which the control for that is on the main monitor panel there, which is very nice. And then we have our power stabilizer jacks for front and back. That's what those, that switch is gonna be. And you're gonna see that across the board. Then we have our solid steps that fold up into the door. Um, if you're familiar with them, these have been a really significant upgrade in the RV business because there's no more bounce when you go in and out of the trailer. You're stepping firmly right onto the ground and you can adjust the feet to whatever it needs to be. So definitely bonus there. Rockwood uses the Goodyear Endurance tires. Um, a lot of brands are using them now. They, they kind of started that and there really isn't a better tire out there. So that's a plus, you get that right from the factory. You're not needing to go upgrade those. Then we have our cable or satellite hookup for an exterior TV along with a 110 outlet to power that. So you can put that outside and they put the TV bracket on for you as well. You just gotta get the bracket that mates to the TV and that slides right on there, which is nice. And then we have our outside speakers and then our range hood vent. And um, if you're looking at these windows and you're wondering why they look so sleek, these are what they refer to as frameless windows. Um, they're a really nice looking window and Rockwood does a good job at getting them in the hole without messing up the foam seal uh, like other brands. So a lot less issues down the road with, with leaking if it's put in right. So that's a plus. Then we have our um, almost full length awning with our LED light underneath of there. The switch for this is going to be also on that, that We RV monitor panel. So uh, furnace exhaust, I've kind of mentioned this before, make sure that you don't put anything in front of this when the furnace is on. This gets extremely hot, it will catch things on fire. And then we have our grill and table rail located here with our LP disconnect right up underneath of there. Um, this is a really cool little thing because it's not something you'd ne necessarily notice, but it's very 
uh, user friendly and just an extra set of hands for you with that table. And then a, a nice spot to put the grill if you don't have a picnic table or something to set that on as well. So our switch is located here for our PSX2 Lippert power jacks. These are the best power jacks out there, if you ask me, besides a level up system. Um, these are extremely sturdy and beefy, so I really like those ones. And then we have some storage stuff in here. These are for that big farmhouse sink inside. Um, so you can double it as a dish drying or even just extra counter space when you're not using the sink. It comes with two of those. And then if you look up inside of here, you will see the nice magnets that they put in for our uh, manually overriding uh, crank jacks. So it's just one of those extra things that's super nice. You can keep that handle up there. It's not bouncing around when you're going down the road and it's there if you need it. Well, moving on to our solar on the side option. This is uh, for our portable solar. If you wanted to add an additional solar or if you were parked under a big tree and want to provide yourself with some extra solar, you can get what they call the suitcase solars or the backpack solars where you can move them around. Just make sure that you have a voltage regulator because this does not go through the 30 amp solar controller that's inside. Um, so you need to get one that's built into the panel if you're going to use this function. Now. Moving on to the front, we have this really nice um, campsite light, I think is the best way, or front cap light. Um, it just helps light up the front of your trailer along with this um, tongue jack light. People say, well, what would I use that for? Well, for one, if you're backing up in the dark, it's, it's really convenient, but also um, running your shin into that in the middle of the night is awful. So it's a really nice feature to be able to just light that up. So any extra light is helpful. And then we have our seven way and our um, chain hookup here. This is just a storage area, just as a cleaner application. It doesn't keep that stuff in the dirt, so I like that. And then they always come with a dual battery box across the board with Rockwood, so if you wanted to add two batteries, you can. And then up underneath of our propane tank here, we have our battery disconnect switch. It's located right here, and if you just bought a Rockwood, or if you're somebody who's looking at one, um, that's something to always remember because it's really easy to forget. It's hidden up underneath there. It stays out of the weather, which I like, but people seem to forget that. So if you're having trouble and you're not getting 12 volt through, um, make sure that that battery disconnect is in the on position when you want to use it. And those docking lights that are on the front can be controlled right from there. And then this is our pass-through storage that goes all the way through to the other side. This goes underneath of our bed. And then we have our fresh water tank fill located right here. So if you want to fill up the onboard tank, you take that cap off, put your water hose in there and let it fill. Then we have our water heater located here. As you recall, I pointed out both your gas and the electric function on this water heater is located inside on that we RV monitor panel. This is a six gallon gas electric Suburban, so it'll do both of those functions for you, which is nice. Now, underneath of here, you will see our large um, freshwater drain there, and the sticker is located there as well. Um, so no more waiting for the freshwater to drain. That will happen very quickly now. This storage compartment goes to the back of our sofa from the inside. So if you saw some daylight when I moved this couch, that's why we have this compartment open. Um, so it's a little bit of storage, but it's better than nothing. Again, that's what Rockwood does the best at is providing you with that um, storage and any spaces that they can. And then magnet latches. You're gonna see that across the board with Rockwood um, on all of their latches. And then these are also key to like. One thing that people don't realize, you've had an RV, you might have had three or four keys, every compartment needs a different one. Not on Rockwood, they key everything alike. You will get one key that does all your entry doors and all your baggage doors. And then we have our 30 amp power hookup located here. And above that we have our um, tank flush, our city water connection, and our antifreeze inlet. So city water, tank flush antifreeze inlet and you can kind of see it says tank flush there and then we have the stickers here and it says city fill 
So make sure we're not getting our city water connection, our black tank mixed up when we go to hook up our city water connection because the only place for that water to come is out of your toilet. So that's not a fun conversation. Make sure you're hooking up the right one. This antifreeze inlet, um, that's a, a winter or fall time conversation. And we don't really want to talk about that right now because we're enjoying the summer. And then underneath of here, we have our gray and our black water drain. So as you can see, black water is going to be a three inch pipe with a black handle and our gray water which is our shower or our sinks are going to have a gray handle and that's going to be inch and a half so it's significantly smaller than that black tank or toilet now moving on to the back here um there's not much here except we do have this really nice welded into the frame um hitch receiver here so you can put bikes or a storage carrier back here and have no problems um, with that bending or warping on your bumper and then we have a quick disconnect so we have hot and cold water with the spray port so if you want to take an outside shower or if you just want to rinse your feet or rinse the dog you're able to do that with warm water which is nice so we have our spare tire here um, underneath the cover which is nice and as you can see it's covered in pollen after one day of being washed and then we have our um, roof ladder. This is a 250 pound weight capacity, so make sure we're staying within that um, if we're climbing that. This has a fully walkable roof, so you can walk up there, no problems. And then also our solar panels located up there and our roof vents and air conditioner and such. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're, we're checking those seals. Remember, we do free roof inspections here, so if getting up on this ladder or on this roof is not for you, let us know. We'll be happy to take care of you. All right, so that's going to do it for our 2024 Rockwood Mini Light 2109S. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel.